Hi everyone and welcome back to Mama Lou's Kitchen. I'm your host Angie Lou, and today's episode is on tteokbokki, which is a spicy Korean rice cake dish. I grew up eating this dish as an after school snack with my friends in Korea and I have such fond memories of watching the owner make this dish fresh right in front of us as we devoured each bite at the counter. I remember her making it with fried fish cakes, but today I'm going to be putting my Mama Lou twist on it by using ground beef, a ton of vegetables, and making it super fun and easy to make in less than 30 minutes. Here's what you're going to need. Half a pound of ground beef. One and a half pounds of rice cakes or tteok. For the sauce, you'll need half a cup of water, a quarter cup of gochujang, a quarter cup of soy sauce. You'll also need two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of sesame oil, and four cloves of garlic. For the fresh ingredients, you'll need half an onion, one carrot, half a zucchini, and a quarter head of green cabbage. You'll also need two eggs, two two-inch squares of kombu, and two king trumpet mushrooms. The eggs are optional and you'll see why, and the trumpet mushrooms can be substituted with any variety of mushrooms you like or have. For the garnish, you'll need half a teaspoon of toasted sesame seeds and one green onion. And last, you'll need an additional tablespoon of sugar or two tablespoons of oligodang. This is rice syrup, but you can substitute it with brown rice syrup or corn syrup. Now that you've seen the ingredients involved, I want to show you how to cut up the vegetables to keep them nice and chunky, and then we're going to make the sauce for the tteokbokki. I also have a couple of eggs here that you can boil while the tteokbokki is being made, but that's totally optional. I just like to use it as a garnish. Let's get cooking! Thinly slice your quarter head of cabbage. Cut your zucchini into half an inch pieces and slice them down the middle. Cut your half an onion radially into quarter inch pieces. Peel your carrot and thinly slice diagonally. Thinly slice your mushrooms lengthwise and then cut them into half an inch pieces. Try to slice your green onion as thinly as possible on a diagonal. For the sauce, add your soy sauce, gochujang, garlic, sesame oil, sugar, and your half a cup of water into your mixer and blend. All right, now that our vegetables and sauce are ready, let's go cook some tteokbokki. I wanted to add that I like to use tteok that's about two and a half inches long, but you can use ones that are longer and skinnier or shorter and fatter. You're also going to need at least a 10 to 12 inch size large pot or wok and also a pot for boiling your eggs. Boil your eggs between five to eight minutes depending on how hard you'd like them to be. Put your nonstick wok or pan over high heat. Add two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Once the oil is hot, add the ground beef and brown, breaking up into smaller pieces. Then add all of your vegetables and cook for two to three minutes. Next, add a pinch of salt and some pepper. Add the sauce mixture, then add your kombu, and thoroughly coat all of the vegetables as you bring to a slight boil. Once it's slightly boiling, add all of your rice cakes or thok, and then continue to mix together until everything is evenly coated in the sauce mixture. Now, lower the heat to medium, cover, and set your timer for five minutes. Okay guys, our tteokbokki is almost ready. And at this stage, you can remove your two pieces of kombu, but I like to keep it in there, so scissor time. Let's cut it up into small pieces. Once you've removed or sliced up your kombu, add your oligodang, or one tablespoon of sugar. Thoroughly mix together into the tteokbokki and leave uncovered for another five minutes so that the sauce thickens. This looks so good. Let's get ready to plate this. All right, everyone, our tteokbokki is now ready. This dish goes really well with some odeng or fish cake soup, which I'll cover in another episode. And even though this is just a snack, let's always make it pretty with some green onions and toasted sesame seeds. And the soft boiled egg is optional. So let's cut that open. Gently place on top. Add your green onions and some toasted sesame seeds. And there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Pom Pom and I are so excited to share many more recipes with you. And if you ever have any questions, comments, or special requests, please feel free to reach out. Bye-bye now.